Rishi Sunak is really bad at this. I mean, he's been talking to Beth Rigby today, and it's another car crash interview. That's on top of the one that he had yesterday. I clipped that one up with uh, Laura Koonsberg, which I'll link at the end of the video. So if you've not seen it, make sure you check that one out too. It's clear from these interviews that he's got no control over his party, no control over his MPs. He thinks he can just talk his way over the interviewer and just run down the times. And he'll answer the questions he thinks of in his head, not the questions he's actually been asked. And then for him to say that the people don't want an election, that's just a massive lie. Both Laura and Beth have pointed out that he doesn't have a mandate. He's not a president. He can't just make stuff up on his own whim. If he wants to change his mandate that was elected, then he has to take it to the public. He has to call a general election. But he doesn't want to do that because he knows he'll lose. Anyway, here he is getting it completely wrong. This was meant to be the Rishi reset, but it's turning into the Rishi shambles. I, you know, I just don't agree with that characterization of it, Beth. I've been out and about for the last few days. I'm seeing hundreds of people. It's not what I'm hearing from them at all. Actually, you know what? People have got to spring in their step because they really support what I've done on Net Zero, taking a different approach to meeting our targets, but in a more proportionate and realistic way, saving families five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds. Announcement for a billion pounds of funding for fifty-five towns. I don't have no, much time. But, but these, that's I, what's going on at this conference, I, and people I've, are actually right I've, behind I've it. I've done a lot of conferences. And it is chaotic. For the country. So you and I think, think that Rishi Reset's going okay here? Yeah, look, I, as I say, I'm prepared to do things differently. I have a different approach to politics. I think people are tired of politicians who are talking about things, focused on the easy way out, short-term decisions. I'm about doing okay. things differently. Uh, uh, one of the main reasons uh, that, that there has been chaos a bit here, and I'm referencing you know, and Andy Street yesterday, you're about to announce the cancellation of the HS2 line from Birmingham to Manchester. I listened to you this morning, I've listened to all your interviews saying that you need more time to assess the case, but that's not true, is it? You've personally made up your mind. No, again, there's lots of speculation on this. I'm not going to say anything to you that I haven't said to everybody else. I approach all these things carefully, thoughtfully, rigorously, of course Zero. we should. I am prepared Everyone, to do things differently and make, and make big Prime decisions. Uh, well, as I do with all things, I go through the. T I take the time to get it right and do what I think is right for the country. And have and you when personally we do, decided? Yeah, of course, you don't have to tell me the answer. No, but, but, but Beth, uh, I've, I've now done gosh knows how many of these interviews. I've said the same thing every time. I'll say the same thing to you. I care deeply about levelling up our country. You're talking about what we're doing. Well, no, but this is important. A fifth, more people in our country live in towns than live in big cities. So what you're telling me is you're going through a process and no decision's been made. So is it the case that the Birmingham to Manchester section could still go ahead? Again, you're speculating on, on things that may or may not happen. We've got spades in the ground on HS2. We're getting on and delivering it. And all I'd say is there's lots of different ways that we're levelling up communities across the north and the So you won't say yes, it's a possibility that it might I, I'm, it I'm might saying continue. the same thing to you that I, think, I said right, to everyone else on. who's asked me. And what let's, I do want to know, people want to know, is I'm prepared is, to do what's right for the country. The truth is that you've decided to cancel that section and you're not being straight with people and you've, you've personally made the decision. You no, might not again, have signed it off, but, but you've personally made the decision and you won't actually tell people and they're watching this and Beth, they're not what, being straight what, with look, them. People can watch and make up their own mind. They can okay. see you asserting lots of things. What they'll see from me is someone who I think they've got to know me by oh, now. If you're they, announcing look, it tomorrow, you've look, made the decision. It's look, not look, making you, a premature you can, decision. You, you can, you can speculate we know that. Look, but being but forced you into said, premature decisions see what isn't they the right see. thing on decisions Let of such importance. I'm going to do what I think is right for the country. That's all the same on net zero, by the way. Yeah. Again, people okay. had lots of speculation. They leaked lots of things. Right. But I did what I believe was right for the country. Attention. Someone having a good week and enthusing the party members is your predecessor, Liz Truss. I was at her event yesterday, packed room. Are you pleased that she's come to conference? I, might, I remember you had the decency not to come turn up to hers last year. Absolutely. It's, it's, we're a broad church. We're a conservative party. People are together. But look, I'm out and about talking to hundreds of my members, all very supportive of what we're doing on net zero, all very supportive of what we're doing to support towns around the country, all very supportive of our increase to the national living wage to give a thousand pound pay rise to two million of the lowest paid. Is it Ensuring that interest is really important because you haven't asked me about it. I mean, these are important announcements that we are making. People remember that horrific crime and it can't oh. be right if someone murders their partner that they then have rights over their children. I, Conservative Party conference, Liz Truss is talking about tax cuts. The party still loves her. It seems to be more 
then they love you. Does that sting? No, gosh, not. I just, don't I just care. You have a totally different version of what's happening. Do you not care? I had this she's debate. There talking about I had this debate with everyone last summer. My views on this are really and simple. You lost, of course, and you of course. lost last summer. And I'm sitting here as Prime Minister talking to you with, today. So with no that should tell you from the members. That should, that should tell you where we are. But look, this is simple. This is simple. So people do you right think now, people have forgotten what she did to the economy no, too quickly? If I could just answer. Right now, the number one challenge people have is the cost of living. Mm. That's why the first of my priorities was to halve inflation. That yes. is the best way to help people. Okay. The best tax cut that any Conservative can deliver is to bring inflation down. And you know what? That's what and Margaret Thatcher thought. That's what Nigel Prime Lawson Minister, thought. The point they about you're sitting here, Liz Truss is not, but you were not elected by members. The point is, at this conference, you are a man without a mandate. You haven't got a mandate from the country. You haven't got a mandate from your own party. You're now making huge decisions about scrapping part of HS2 without anyone apart from a core of your own MPs giving you this job. If you were really serious about the long term, why don't you just go to the country? Because that's not what the country wants. That's they not, don't I, want I, go out, I go out and about every day. That is not what anybody wants. What people want is the politicians making a difference to their lives. Right. So I made a big decision on net zero. I'm saving all those families you're talking about. Five right. you're it's the right of long thing for the country. You're afraid right. of an election because you'll lose. I'm just getting on and delivering for people. I'm just going to put the other video that uh, he did at the weekend right here for you so you can have a look at him get completely owned by this one too. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.